Our lab started about nine months ago at ETH Zurich, and it's really the coming together of a really interdisciplinary group of scientists who work on a range of topics from remote sensing and satellite data all the way to the minutiae of microbial DNA. As we describe this living planet, we improve our ability to understand how the climate is changing over time and how the carbon cycle is changing. And it also helps us to sort of target and be more effective in our strategies to address climate change by restoring forests or ecosystems around the world. We needed to study the population density of the trees so that we could really get a handle on the global forest system. So we combined data from people all over the world and paired it up with satellite information and climate information, lots of GIS layers, so that we could predict the population density of those trees in all the locations around the world to get a global perspective and show that, yeah, there's three trillion trees on our planet. Now that we know the scale of, of the system, we can really be more targeted in, in addressing it. In places that could support forests, there's room for about 1.2 trillion new trees. So we could certainly be effective if we manage these ecosystems well. Targeting the right regions for restoration sort of depends on what your end goal is. If you're interested in supporting biodiversity or having a climate impact or, or ecosystem services for humans, it's really the old, mature ecosystems that we most need to focus on because not only have they been around for thousands of years, that they capture the essence of what biodiversity is. They store the most carbon, they have the greatest amounts of natural biodiversity that's all linked together so beautifully. And these are the pristine ecosystems that we really need to, to focus our efforts on. We could not have a perspective of where they are and what they are without GIS. It allows people to visualize the system and understand their impact and understand what's going on so that you can have perspective to really make a difference at a global scale. And really it's a race for the technology to try and keep up. And that's one of the things that Esri is so good at is staying on top of that GIS platform so that we can try and keep up with the incredible data explosion to be able to make something of it.